Hello, today I would like to recommend to you Feed by M.T. Anderson. Titus is your average American teen. He chats with his friends online, he tries to pick up girls and goes to parties, he vacations on the moon, and he has a feed implanted in his brain that connects him directly to the internet. See, Titus lives in a world where everyone, when they're little kids, has a feed uploaded into their mind. And it makes it so that you can access the internet so you don't really have to learn things necessarily because you can just look them up online whenever you want to. But people don't necessarily, when they have those that knowledge at the tips of their fingers, they don't necessarily actually use it to then learn and improve their brains. And slowly, society is getting dumber and dumber. And meanwhile, in addition to your brain having direct access to the internet, Corporations also have direct access to your brain, so you're constantly getting these targeted ads that you can't turn off because they're focused directly on the feed in your mind. And Titus meets a girl who's not like most of the people that he knows. She was homeschooled for a while and her parents elected not to have the feed put into her brain until recently. And she's up with current events, she's talking about these lesions that keep appearing in people's brains and people aren't sure where they're coming from, all these effects of climate change that are happening around the world, and she starts to make Titus think differently about the world that he lives in. But in a lot of ways it seems like it's already too late for him to do anything, and what can he really do? He's a teen. And so Titus has to decide if he wants to live differently or if he wants to go with the flow and live like everyone else that he knows and go along with the speed and just kind of take the easy way out. So if you're looking for a really fascinating science fiction dystopian premise, that's Feed by M.T. Anderson.